Only that Giatia's the GM. There you can also monitor Giatia's radio live. Well, that's all in this edition of the news. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and join us at 10 for another newscast. Welcome to Success Power. We've been discussing on this series the topic developing creative energy. I should remind you, dear viewer, that you were created in God's image, and since God is the ultimate creator, you are a co creator with God. To create means to invent something, to bring into existence something that has never existed before. And you also have the capacity to bring into existence things that never existed before. You can create, you can innovate, you can rearrange things, but essentially you can always create solutions where we have problems. However, your creative energy can either be enhanced or dissipated depending on the things you are exposed to or what you participate in or experience. And we believe that your creative energy can be sustained when you are in alignment with the principles, basic principles that govern our relationships and govern the way we do our work. Energy is the ability to do work. So the ability to create requires energy. Our basic resources for creating are ideas, thoughts, Therefore, to create with thought, to imagine, to dream, we need energy. We know also uh, that negative thinking drains us of energy. And we just want to be sure that we retain that ability in all situations and circumstances to create new levels of success for ourselves, to create wealth in our world and to make the world a better place for everyone. So today, we'll continue in our discussions on what you can do to build energy in yourself. Please remember that all objects remain at a state of rest until a force is applied. Like one of Newton's laws of motion says, things don't happen by themselves in our world. It's people that make them happen. But to make anything happen, to move anything, you've got to have energy. The things that you move with your mind in our world are greater than the things you move with your physical body. And we're saying that um, whereas you derive physical energy from the physical food that you eat, your soul, your mind, your emotions, and your heart get energy from spiritual food or simply stated information. So we need to develop this capacity to move ourselves, to move a family, to move an organization, to move a city, to move a whole nation. 
we need to develop the capacity to move our world, depending, of course, on the opportunities that God creates for us. We have, we've got to have that capacity to make things happen. And what you need for that is energy. So I encourage you, the viewer, to pay attention to the things that drain your energy, things which we discussed in our last broadcast, and to also cultivate the things that build your energy. And to make sure that at every point in time, you have your determination, your self-drive, your motivation in top shape. You have to hit the ground running every day. You've got to have enthusiasm. You've got to have passion, you know, in pursuing your dreams. The first thing, critical thing, if you're going to achieve success and you want to have energy is for you to set goals. There's power in goal setting. There's something about us human beings that is activated when we set goals. And that's why there is this great difference, great gap between people who set goals and people who don't. Once you set the goal, your system goes into creative mode to find ways to achieve the goal. It's interesting. Somebody stated it this way that nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes specific. So I think that specificity that a goal gives, that definition of target, you know, focuses our energies. And like a laser beam, we are able to cut through life better. When you set a goal, that goal motivates you. That goal inspires you. That goal gets your imagination working. We have shared here before the story of Dr. Frank Gonzalez, who was wishing that he could build a school and he needed a million dollars to do it and he was just wishing that he could get a million dollars and for two years he was saying if only I had a million dollars I would build a school and then one particular day he gave himself a deadline in the next two weeks I will raise this one million dollars and the moment he did that his system went to work and handed over to him you know an idea why don't you even preach a sermon in church on that topic, what I would do if I had a million dollars. He did it. He got the idea on Friday. He preached the sermon on Sunday. He preached the sermon, and right after the sermon, someone stood up from the back of the auditorium, came to him, gave him his business card, requested for an appointment on Monday, and there he was with a check for one million dollars. The idea came after he set the goal. And I want to say that also that for us, Goal setting does the job. Uh, I have developed this habit of writing goals, you know, on plain paper and sticking the goals on the wall by my bed. And I've been doing that for several years now because I just realized when I look at those goals, they fire me up. Okay? I have something to do. My mind has something to work on. And it is creative. Okay? So you release your energy when you set goals. I know some people don't set goals. So, yes, people don't set goals because, one, some think it's too much trouble. Two, some are too lazy to set the goals. Uh, three, um, some have set goals before. The goals did not work out. They failed. So they think there's no point setting goals anyway. Listen, even if you failed before, do it again. Don't give up. Persistence is one of the principles of success. But when you set goals, specific goals, they release energy. They release the drive. They motivate you to take practical steps. So that's the first step for us today. Do you have a goal? Do you have a goal for this year? Do you have a goal for the next five years of your life? The next 10 years? There's power in goals. 
without goals we don't succeed